Good day children, in the last lesson we talk about the importance of planting and propagating trees and fruit bearing trees. Today, our topic is full of excitement because you will know something that you might enjoy doing. But before we continue, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. If you love orchards and the delicious fruit within them as much as we do, you may have never seriously asked yourself why you should plant and nurture orchard. Everyone knows forests and trees are of vital importance to the world's ecosystem, especially in the rule of removing carbon dioxide from the air and producing oxygen for animals and humans to breathe. Orchards have played an important role in communities for many centuries, providing a place where people and the rest of the nature can successfully work together to create abundant harvest. In this lesson, you will identify types of orchard farms, give example of trees planted in each type of orchard, Identify trees appropriate for orchard gardening based on location, climate, and market demands. Let us first examine what you already know about this lesson. Read the following test item below. Select the correct answer from the given choices and write the letter only of your answer in your activity notebook. What is orchard? Orchard is an intentional plantation of fruit trees or nut trees that is maintained for fruit production. It is also known as fruit farm. Therefore, an orchard can have any kind of growing trees and fruit bearing trees for profitable production. Here are the types of orchard farms. Fruit orchards. This orchard focuses on growing trees and fruit-bearing trees of which they were famous in different parts of the country like mango, pomelo, durian, santol, jackfruit, mangosteen, avocado, rambutan, and other fruits located anywhere in the country. Nut Orchards Nut orchards include a large variety of facilities that produce nut-bearing trees. These include orchards that grow popular nuts like cashews, walnuts, and almonds. This category also includes cocoa and chocolate-producing nuts as well as coconuts. Some orchard owners produce pine trees for their edible pine nuts. Seed orchards, on the other hand, focus primarily on growing trees that produce seeds rather than nuts or fruit. These seeds are then sold to commercial distributors for resale to the public in small seed packets. They may be sold to large agricultural facilities or used for food production. Seed orchards can be further be divided into two categories based on how they are established. In a seedling orchard, Trees are selected through controlled pollination. In a clonal seed orchard, seeds are distributed through methods such as cutting and tissue culture, resulting in an easier harvest overall. Home or Backyard Orchards 
home orchards are small garden where grafted trees are grown and is small enough to fit in the garden. Other types of orchard farms include Christmas tree farm. It is a type of orchard where an occupation involves growing pine trees, specifically for use as Christmas trees. This farm can be located at Baguio and Tagaytay. Coffee Producing Farm Area where coffee producing plants were planted for marketable production. Batangas is well known in their coffee production. Here are the factors to consider in choosing fruit trees for orchard farms. Choose fruit trees which are suited to your location. Choose trees based on your needs or market demands. Consider how much effort you will exert. Plant the right fruits. Choose the best time for planting. Consider the climate in your area. For healthiest and tastiest fruit, Choose the sunniest available planting location. The following are trees suited for orchard gardening based on location. Based on climate. and based on market demand. Growing your own fruits help you become more connected to the growing process and where your food is coming from. Perhaps, community orchards have been never been more important. They provide setting where the rich and poor, young and old, can roll up their sleeves and work together or put their hair down and enjoy the harvest. So if you want cities that are sustainable, rich in biodiversity, socially unified, and delightful, let's get planting. In the next lesson, we will talk about proper way of planting and propagating trees and fruit bearing trees like budding, marketing, and grafting. For now, answer the following questions.